Um, I want to talk to you about the differences of different guitar picks, pluses and minuses. There's lots of different brands and materials, and I get a lot of questions. Does it make a difference? Uh, what type should I use? I'm having problems with picks sliding out of my hand. That's a common one. I get a lot of beginners asking that. What can I do? So we're going to address, try to address this. What about dog eating picks? Uh, what do you feel about that? Dog eating picks are a problem, especially for me, because my golden retriever, Samantha, loves to eat pick. No. What's no, that? No, Give no, me that. No, no, Get over here. Samantha, come here. Give me that. You can't have that. No. Give me that. Ah, I got it. <laughs> you can't have that, you silly girl. You get the premium dog food and you'd rather have the cheap guitar picks. Go figure. So picks are made from all different types of materials. There's nylon, celluloid, metal, wood, uh, plastics, all different types of materials. And they all have a different feel. And they all have a different sound. And that's one of the main things. And the other thing is they're all made of different thicknesses. You can get thin, ultra thin, medium, uh, thick, heavy. You can get them in different uh, thousands, like some picks, actually, if you look on the back, it'll tell you the, the actual thousands, 0.73 mm millimeter or 0.10, really thick, 0.2, I mean, uh, you can get 0.58, I mean, whatever, you could find picks, 0.60, you can find them all different thicknesses. And a lot of it comes down to, uh, what the, one of the main things I want you to pull out of this is that in my opinion, all of them will give you a different sound. Whatever you're touching your guitar strings with, between you and the guitar and then the guitar and the amp is going to affect the tone. Just use your fingers to play has a very different sound than using a pick. You know, it's, a softer it's a very music. softer kind of muted sound because your strings are deadening the sound a little bit. Just like I find that the thicker the pick, the, the, the more it kind of deadens the string a little bit. And you might want that, you know what I mean? So a lot of it is personal preference, but know there is a difference that the, the pick actually will give you a different sound, the different picks. So while you're trying them, you want to try to find one that feels really good, but you also want to try to find it balanced with what sound is good what sounds good. Um, the thinner the pick sometimes gives you a little bit more of a uh, sharper sound, kind of a little bit more trebly kind of sound in my experiences. Um, a couple things that I want to start off with is I get a lot of questions that students, especially when they're first starting, they have trouble with the pick moving in their hand or it'll just fly out when they hit the strings or it'll slide around. And I want to give you a couple of suggestions on something you could do to attack that. The first one is, is they actually make picks uh, with holes in them. Okay, for instance, this pick here, uh, which is made by a company called Star, Star Picks, S-T-A-R, and I'm going to zoom in on this in a minute, but it actually has a hole in it. So what happens is when you grip it, your part, a little fleshy part of your finger fits in that hole, and it makes it less easy to move around. It's pretty good. By the way, just so you know, like with all our stuff, both Tim and I, we have no endorsement deals with any companies or anything like that. So anything that we show you is just our experience. We're not getting paid and whatnot. This is just my feelings, my experiences, and what I think works for helping out and teaching thousands of students. Knowledge garnered from the streets. Exactly. From the streets, baby. So uh, let me zoom in on this pic and show you what this one looks like. So you can see on an up-close and personal shot, this star pic has that hole right in it and it really helps with the grip okay the other picks that really help if you're having a problem with picks moving are these nylon picks these are made by uh, uh, Dunlop Jim Dunlop and these are various thicknesses but the good thing about these picks is they have raised letters and you could see if I angle them and the raised letters kind of act like grippies and it makes it very easy to grip the pick. Now, this one, for instance, is a 0.88 millimeter, so it's about a medium, or maybe a shade under medium. I also have one that's a 0.73 and a 0.60. So if you're having problems with your pick coming loose in your hand, try one of these with the hole 
or the raised letters. And these are nylon, which feel different than celluloid, but they do kind of stick to your hands. Another pick that Dunlop makes is this guy. Uh, uh, this is a .96, but this has a special coating on it. And you can buy these at most music stores. And this coating uh, feels a little bit like it's, it stays in your hand. It's not silky smooth. Um, but what it does is it helps again so the pick won't move. These are purple and this is a 0.96 millimeter so it's a little bit probably toward the thicker side but it, they make picks with special coatings on them so they don't slip in your hand. Uh, another type of pick they make uh, and again I just have a handful of various ones is they make these picks with indentations in them. There's a good shot of that. This one's purple and it actually has like where your thumb and first finger go, it's indented in. You could see it as a little circle, but that's actually a dent right into the plastic. And this is a big stubby uh, pick, S-T-U-B-B-Y. Um, also, um, I believe this is made by Dunlop also. This one's 2.0 millimeters. This is a very thick pick, but it has that indent in it and your fingers fit in it really well, okay? It's a thick pick, so you gotta like the thick picks. Personally, I don't like thick picks. Um, but they also make, with the stubby... Thick picks. Yeah, thick picks. They also make a one millimeter stubby, but it's a smaller pick. Um, yeah, I think it's, I never seen Yeah, they make picks in all shapes and sizes. This is almost like a jazz pick. I'll show you some other jazz picks. Um, but again, it has a little bit more of an indention, indent in it. Um, um, now, two very popular picks today on the scene are the Jazz 2 picks, J-A-Z-Z -Z, numeral 2. And these are very popular with a lot of players today. Just ask anybody about the Jazz 2 picks um, made by Dunlop in the USA and ask them, did they use the red or the black? That's how these picks are known, by the red or the black Dunlop Jazz Picks. A lot of players really like the way they feel. Now these are smaller than like your standard, um, like here's a standard Fender pick, okay, medium. And as you can see, these Jazz Picks are smaller, all right? So jazz, is it jazz weight or just that's just a Well, a, I mean, a lot of times the Jazz guys use smaller picks and some really small like this small. Like uh, a lot of the jazz guys, rock like guys using that? oh yeah, a lot of rock guys use them. The Dunlops, especially the reds and blacks, they're very popular. Mm -hmm. That's like a jazz shaped pick right there. So you might want to try if you're trying different picks. These are extremely popular with big name players. Try these jazz, the Dunlop, the black and the red. See which ones you like. Well, I'm just curious from a novice, why? I mean, why? Why do you think they're popular with these? Well, guys? a lot of people just like the way they cut through the strings. A lot of people like the feel of the smaller pick uh -huh. and the, the, the hardness of them. And they just like the feel and they just get real popular for a while. That's a really popular pick. Personally, um, I like the old celluloid picks. My favorite pick is the good old Fender Medium. Yeah, I like, I like those too. Yeah, Fender Medium, I, it just feels good in my hand. I like the way it sounds. I like the way these picks sound. They don't uh, sound like the strings are being deadened, like with a real thick pick, and they don't. And I don't like two, picks that are too thin with too much giving them. That's the tortoise shell, right? That's, That's the tortoise shell. Favorite. That's my favorite. My favorite is Fender Medium tortoise shell. But these are celluloid, and a lot of people don't like these, especially beginners, because they can feel slippery, and the pick moves in their hand.